Okay, here I am back with um, one of the the panels for this card. So if you've seen the introduction, you'll have seen how to make the basic card. Um, today I'm going to do the front panel. Now I've not rehearsed this. I'm just doing this straight off. So I'm just going to pop this to the side. And the plan is I've got cut this I've cut this panel for the front and it's, I've got my measurements over here. I've cut it in whisper white and it's 14, no it's not, it's 12.2 by 7.2 centimetres. Okay, and I'm going to gold emboss the, the large rows from the stamp set. I'm going to gold emboss that one onto here and then colour it with my blends, okay? Shouldn't take too long. So I'm just going to use my embossing buddy just to um, reduce the static and get rid of any greasy marks from fingers or whatever, okay? And then using my Versamark, you have seen me do embossing before, but if you're new to me, and you haven't seen anyone else. So you use Versamark Watermark Stamp Pad and it's in the annual catalogue. You can buy all the things that I demonstrate with. You can buy from me and buy, if you go to my blog and click on any of the products it will take you straight to my, stamp, my online stamping up shop. Also, if you go to my Facebook page, which there's a link there, there's a shop now button on my Facebook page. It'll take you straight to the online shop as well. There is also a link to the online shop. Or you can just message me and I can help you. Lots of ways to get in touch. There you go. So I've just stamped this down with the Versamark ink. And I'm lifting that up and that looks like it's a quite a clear stamp. Now I need a piece of scrap paper. Oh well, this one here with all my measurements, that'll do the job. I just need to remember not to put this in the bin so that I write down all the measurements for you guys onto the blog. Okay, so... Yeah, it just looks like there's just a wee bit there that I've got ink where I don't actually want it so much. I'm going to see if that'll, the brush will just take the ink off. But if not, I'll be able to brush the powder off again. There's um, gold embossing powder in, in my online shop. And embossing buddy and Versamark ink if you've not done embossing before. So... I've just sprinkled all the powder over the stamp, tip it off, and I'm just flicking the excess back onto the paper. Now I think you'll see that I did lean a bit hard with my stamp, so I'm just going to get rid of that. The ink will dry that went on there, but I don't want the powder on there. So a very small watercolour brush is really handy because they're usually quite soft. So I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to pop away the powder. Now the reason, I, if you don't know the reason, I put the crease in the paper. It just makes it easier to tip it back into the container. Although you probably can't see, but I've tipped it back into the container and that's that done I need to keep that paper put my um, embossing powder away now I'm going to get out my heat tool if you've got sensitive hearing turn this turn the sound down now off I'm knocking things flying here so I'm going to put my heat gun on now Oops. Oh, 
try to hold this so that you can see what's happening here. It changes colour and it goes like to molten metal. Just mind you don't burn your fingers, I'm going to turn that so I don't let them mind. Oh that is so beautiful, it's so satisfying, there we go. Right, so that didn't take a minute. So what do you think? Pretty, pretty, isn't it? So I'm just going to colour it in with the with my blends, and I'm not going to make. I'm going to use the brush tip. I'm not going to make a huge deal about shading, and I mean, I'm just. I'm not one of these expert blenders yet, but I just find, you know, you get great results. Anyway, I tend to put a bit of dark in at the bottom. Whoops, of the petal. And then so you have to be care try and be careful not to go onto your embossing when you're using the blends um, because it will stay stay on. So I need to get a bit of something. What have we got? Oh, I'm just going to get a wee corner of a, a baby wipe because. I'm just going to cut a wee bit off. I don't want a whole lot of weight on my colour. Maybe I could have got something smaller, but I did just get a wee bit on there and I'm just going to take it off while it's wet. Well, it's not really, but it's not that visible. I mean, it's not huge, but just try and be a bit careful. You might want to um, use the finer tip. But basically, I'm just filling in all the spaces obviously you can take time and blend the colours I'm just doing this quickly just to show you spend time trying to think where the highlights will be and where the shadows will be. And just pull the light I've pulled the lighter colour over the dark. Um, which is my I'm getting mixed up where's my dark? It's on the bottom petals I think. The dark bit's kind of underneath because there's one petal over the top, so I'm not sure I can do chat and colour, but I'll do my best. I do Calypso Coral is one of these colours. I think you either, you know, it took me a while. I wasn't that fond of it at first, but it, it's grown on me over the year or two that I've been using it. I can, it's just as well you can't see me, I'm biting my tongue. Just take care not to go, not to get your colour over your embossing. Could have watercolored it, I just decided to use blends just to show that you can do it. 
but the colour that it will it will um, stay the colour will stay on your embossing. Whereas if you use a water colour water based ink rather than alcohol based ink the embossing would resist it but I just thought you know I've done resist quite recently so I just thought I'd show you the difference I'm usually thinking the petals in the centre of a rose are usually a bit darker so I'm just adding more and I'll just fill the gap. I mean you can take time thinking about where your light source is and where it really would have shadows and what have you but there very quickly Now I'm too late at staying, but do you know it's not that bad. So that's the flower part and then we'll just quickly do some dark and that bit dark down most of the stem really. I'm just popping some dark in the leaves. I'm doing this very quickly. Obviously, you would do this same um, each part individually. I just uh, do you know I don't want to make you die of boredom. Watching someone else colour is not really that therapeutic. It's a bit like watching paint dry. I'm really struggling to talk and to colour, but there you go. Right, I think that's fine, but the white is a bit of a stark background, so I'm going to get a bit of sponge. I need a bit of clean sponge. Should have, should have had it ready, but or oh, I know I've got some. Put some clean ink dobbers. I think I'm just going to edge this round with old olive just to take the starkness off. Right. So this finger, I'm just going to pick, I'm just picking up some ink off the ink pad and I'm just going to catch it round the edge. And don't worry about these odd bits because I'll have to deal with them at the end, I'll show you. Just kind of flick it a bit more round the corners. I'm taking some of, more of the ink off and then I'm just going to gently rub in and I'm actually coming right up to my flower. Now this is a water based ink so it will get resisted by my embossing so I can go right over. You don't at some bits it doesn't look like there's much ink going on, but believe me there is. I think that just takes the starkness off it. I maybe should have done a background in the first place, but there you go, I didn't. So just, then I'm just using a bit of Fast Fuse. And I'm just going to pop this on now. It does, this doesn't need a lot of adornment because the ribbon is going to tie. Just line it up so that it's evenly spaced. There you go, see? And that 
that's going to be the, the big long part goes round and this bit ties and the wee bow is going to go across the rows anyway so okay so that's one panel done on my card I'm quite happy with that quite like that I might um I might decorate it with some gems at the end but at the moment I'm quite happy with that and uh, see you in the next panel in the next video thank you